Yeah, it's all connecting up. Good afternoon. It is Sunday, 4th of July. Happy Independence Day, or oh, yeah. I suppose happy, you dreadful, awful colonials. How dare you, dear? <laughs> <laughs> Depending on your perspective, yeah. I suppose. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Yeah. How dare you throw away our tea? Why don't we just say happy 4th of July and leave it at that? That's non-combative, uh, non isn't it? Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. We'll, we'll leave it that then. Have you got a drink? <laughs> I've got two drinks. Oh, you're going to call me prepared. Up. I've got a warm hot tea, but it's an eat and mess tea. And I have a cold brewed tea, which is a mohi tea. So like a mojito, but it's tea, but it's cold brewed in lemonade. Okay. Cool. You didn't expect that answer, did you? No, I didn't. I've got cold builders tea, which I was going to top up, but didn't. So. Wow. That's very disappointing of you. It is. I'm on the very last few rows of the body of my emerald top. Ooh, how exciting. I know, I'm just doing the ribbing at the bottom. I have to finish the sharp rows on the fronts and the backs for the the curves yep. on the hem. And now I'm just doing uh, the first of four rows of ribbing and then cast off. And then sleeves. Then sleeves. I've done mine already. Have you? You know what I'm like, I like to do the sleeves first. Well, yeah, makes sense. So, and if you're working top down. Yeah. There's my top. So I've done the sleeveies mm -hmm. and on the body. Very pretty. And which yarn is that again? Um, it's the cotton light, but in the grey colour, not in the mustard. I'm debating whether to use this as the little fake tea on the bottom. That would be a nice contrast. I'm not sure. I think it works. Do you think it'd still look good with jeans? I do. What does everybody else think? What's what's the consensus of opinion? Mustard or white is the choice. Well, I suppose white's the safe choice. Yeah. That goes with more things, isn't it, if you're a cool? Mm. Um, but it's down at the bottom anyway. Yeah. So you wouldn't see it next to your face it's just which would look better with jeans i think well i'm always going to go with the mustard aren't i so i i need to bow out of that particular <laughs> you don't debate. get a vote <laughs> no because i'm just utterly biased i'm gonna choose what i'm gonna choose nita's in the house good afternoon Ooh. welcome nita Hello. have you got a cup or a glass of water or maybe some juice or some iced tea or something nice what, what are you joining us with today? To Anything to on vote. your needles or hooks? Yeah, need to get to vote. Which do you think? Oh, is, nice. is Wimbledon still on? Because I think Helen Gibson will be Wimbledoning. It's, um, middle Sunday, so you get a day off, and then it starts again tomorrow. Does it? Yeah. I watched the um, the young girl win yesterday emma uger uger ugaru something like that her name is i can't remember okay the british girl she's the only british person left in it anyway she's only good 18. For her. good for she, her it was quite funny they did a little post match interview with her on the court as soon as she'd won and she said when she was leaving to pack her she was packing her bag to go into the bubble because they have to keep away from everyone don't they um her parents said to her are you sure you're not packing too many match outfits um and yet now she has to do laundry because she's ran out <laughs> <laughs> it was like cheers mum and dad that's that's showing that you really uh think that i'm going to get far you thanks thanks for interviewing on that one that was so helpful of you <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah but it's funny oh well and then obviously the footy last night i didn't watch it 
I didn't I know. want to jinx it. Jake and I wasn't sure it, whether you wanted me to let you know. Like, I could have given you a running commentary, but I wasn't sure if you wanted to know or not. Uh, I kind of wanted to know, but I didn't want to be actually watching. Oh, well, That's next cool. time I'll, I'll update you. And Jake was so excited with the World Cup and, you know, all of this. It's coming home business. But I'm just trying not to perpetuate it. Uh, mm. Nita says that she thinks the mustard would be nice. Oh, I think I'll have to give it a try then, won't I? You could go for two layers underneath, though, and have the white underneath that. I could. Just saying. I could. Hashtag just saying. Yeah. No. So I'm on row two now, or oh. four. Well, it says four for the ribbon. I don't know if I'll do more ribbon. It's personal preference, isn't it? See how it looks. I don't want yeah. it kind of rolling over on itself if it's not enough. Have you had to change needle size for your ribbon? I'm just knitting tighter. Okay. Because I'd have only gone down to a 3.75 and I'm using fours at the moment. Right. Um, if I go down to a 3.5, it'll be too tight for over my yeah. my hippiness. So, you know. My um, my one, because it's like top down, and I started um, with the neck. And, mm -hmm. you know, it, in the pattern, it was um, seed stitch, wasn't it? And I decided to go mm -hmm. with garter. So I had a smaller needle, and then it tells you to go up the bigger needle for the um, stocking stitch in the round and when i did the sleeves obviously it tells you use the you know use the same needle and then you get to the the cuff and it didn't specify which needle to use and i wasn't sure really i was like oh it doesn't say to change needle it just says you know round such and such for this one and then the next round number and it just said about doing the seed stitch so I sat there for ages and I was like, oh, what do I do? I had to look through the project, couldn't see anybody had said anything about it. So in the end, I hedged my bets and I went for a needle size in between. Okay. I didn't really know what else to do. Well, no. I wasn't sure. So anyway, but it fits. I've tried it on and it fits nicely around my arms, so that's and the main thing. And you're happy with it? Yeah, more, yeah. More importantly. Yeah. I did do, um, I did bind off with a bigger needle mm -hmm. um, and I didn't like it. It kind of flared a bit, so I pulled it out and redid it with the, the needle that I'd already used for the rest of the garter. And I was much happier with that because it was much neater. Right. Because sometimes a bigger needle's nice it stops it from being too tight doesn't it mm. sometimes you can get a cast off that's a bit tight and doesn't have any give in it yeah i frequently um, go up a good few needle sizes for cast off because yeah. I, I, I do not want a tight edge well that's what i thought so that's why i went up but then it was too flary it just didn't look nice at all mm. Sometimes you just have to try it and, and figure out which works for your yarn. Yeah, and then, you know, go with that, which is, you know, knitting's all about trial and error, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely is. Yeah. So what's everyone else working on? Have we got any photos? Uh, oh, here we go. Nita must have anticipated that. What else working on? Oh. I like uh, a photo. Uh, there we are. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, is it blue? Is it blue or is it purple then, Nita? I oh periwinkle. It's definitely blue. Well that's nice. It is pretty, isn't it? I think we've seen this one before. I remember that picture of her on the beach. Yeah, we have looked at it before. It's a very popular one for summer. But yeah, mm. I, I really like that. It's lovely. Take oh. it you do your increasing on the plain round in between the 
the ribbing. Yeah. So we're all working on a top down. We well, are. Yeah. We're garmenting. Yay! Summer garmenting. That's, from that's Coco, a mouthful. Who's uh, wondering why there's motorbike noise coming out of the window. Is it someone having a great time out there? There's somebody doing something and she's really not sure about it. <laughs> well, well, they're disturbing her Sunday afternoon piece. Oh, it's not a motorbike. It was somebody with a, a knobby um, exhaust. Uh, Jocking off me by. All right. Okay. So it was really you that was causing problems for the neighbours. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, my bad. Yeah. yeah. I should think so too. What can I say? Sorry. I, I don't complain when they're out there, you know, talking at one in the morning. <laughs> we had someone on Friday night who decided to start playing loud music at 10 o'clock. And I was mm. not impressed. No, it's a bit hig rinning. Yeah. That's what Jan would say. <laughs> not nice, is it? It's just not necessary. Oh, that eating mess tea is really nice. Is it? Yeah, really refreshing. Just say it. it's not appealing to me at all. Oh, <laughs> I was almost cringing as you said it. Eat a mess. Oh, no, it's lovely. It's really quite sweet. Mm. It's like, um, well, I suppose you have to like fruit teas, don't you? I do like fruit teas. I have to be sort that of careful of them. Anything that's got licorice in, I can't have. Licorice? Yeah. Is that one of the um, the common ones that it's are it's involved? in things like if if you get sort of rose hip and hibiscus tea that's nearly always got licorice in it. Is it? Yeah, and I, I just no I can't have that because it spikes my blood pressure, which you do not want. No, and I think Tanya's husband had been drinking herb tea and found out that that had licorice in it and wondering why his blood pressure was through the roof. So, so you know, um, you know the list of common allergens that you have in food, and they have to be in bold. Is licorice one of those? No, no, that's a nightmare then. No, you have to know to look for it. Most people don't know that it's a problem because it's no. not obvious, is it? <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't have thought that licorice was in many foods at all, but obviously it is. It's in a lot of herbal teas and things like that. I don't like licorice. Mm, I do and I don't. I don't like the black licorice. Um, yeah, and licorice all sorts and stuff. God, you can keep those. Yeah. Um, I don't mind a black currant and licorice sweet, you know, where it's got the boiled sweet and the black currant flavour and then sort of licorice toffee in the middle. Mm. I can just about cope with that. The only one I like is in the licorice all sorts, the, the pink and blue knobbly ones, you know, with yeah. the nobbles. The aniseed. Is that where it, they're the only ones that I can eat? The rest of them, no. Horrible. Yeah, that's aniseed, that's why. Yeah. Oh, Coco's being given some monkey ham. It's, it's going down very well. All oh, right, okay, so that's why somebody's very happy. What about dandelion and burdock? Is it in there? I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to Google it and have a look. I've not had dandelion and burdock in years. I don't actually know what's in dandelion and burdock. Well, apart from dandelion and burdock root. <laughs> what is burdock? It's a herb. Is it? I didn't know this. I know I knew about like dandelion because that was a popular tea, wasn't it? People used to drink dandelion tea. Well, it's a natural diuretic. Oh, right. Okay. Which so is why my great grand always referred to them as pissy beds. <laughs> is that why people used to say, "Have you been picking dandelions?" Yeah, yeah, because oh. it makes you go to the toilet. Didn't know that. Didn't know that at all. See? Nat natural diuretics, you see. 
font of all knowledge, Lorraine. And apparently a very good natural dye, but there you are. I, don't, I haven't tried it. Me neither. Do not speak from experience. Okay. Fab. So what's everybody been up to this week? Busy week? Mm, yeah. Kind of got more going on next week. Jake's away on a course on CNC machines. That it's sounds like a, like a um, pop group. Yeah, it's it's like a, an industrial cutting machine. Right. You, you program it to. It's a fairly high, high spec, zero tolerance cutting of shapes and parts to custom sizes. So, so not quite the same as karaoke then? No. Okay. No. I'm no. sure you could sing, but whether you'd be able to hear yourself is a different matter. Okay. Uh, but no, he's going on a course for that, so he's going to be away Monday to Friday. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, I'm picking up a friend's son and taking him to work at the shipyard in the morning to give his mum a bit of a break. And then mm -hmm. the following week is shift change. So Jake's working Sunday, Monday, Tuesday next week. Uh, and this lad will be as well, so I'll be taking the, the two of them for... Yeah. Probably the next three months, I think. Mm. Yeah. Is that the washing? That's the washing that he's taking off the chair he wants to sit in. <laughs> now, I moved out of the way so you didn't have to look at my clean towels, but there you are. What's he sitting on the chair for? He wants me charging now. Which is attached to me, Tally Falone. So, oh, no. He's very demanding, isn't he? I oh, know. But, no. It's fine. Oh. It's nice to have some company. For a change, yeah. Well, what have you got for dinner today? Uh, roast chicken and mashed potato. Oh. With gravy with gravy and veg yeah gluten free gravy like my roast dinner to drown in gravy <laughs> to look like it's been flooded <laughs> yeah yeah only only arthur and i like gravy in this house though i don't get that at all we went to a friend i think it was damaris who invited us for dinner and it was a dry dinner I said, have you got any gravy? And she said, oh, yeah, I've got a gravy boat just for you. And it was about that big. And it's a little, little sort of gravy container that she brought out. And I said, have you got a jug? <laughs> Went into the kitchen and found some gravy granules and made about half a pint. <laughs> we just about managed with that, the three of us. People just don't understand, do they? Well, no, because it never occurs to them to have gravy, whereas we were thinking... It never occurred to us to not have gravy. It's the best oh, bit of the dinner. I make gravy just for myself. Mm. Um, Callum will have his roast dinner covered in Heinz barbecue sauce. Oh, my God. Honestly. Ew. Discovered garlic and herb sauce. Oh, so Anita says her youngest son is doing a CNC course at school. Assuming the college is reopened again, I'm sure they will at some point, Nita. But has he been enjoying it up until it obviously had to stop? Because it's very hands-on, isn't it? It's all... I'm sure there'll be some theory, but most of it's going to be practical stuff. Yeah, well, I'll be starting work from the 1st of August, which... Um, all of all of our classes are going to be on campus in person. Right, do I have to call you teach at that point? Uh, no, because my official title is lecturer, and um, all the all the students call me by my first name, so you're all right. Just to clarify, is that L E C T U R E R, or is it L E C T H E R E R? Um, mm, 
Let's go with the first one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> As a <laughs> You're very naughty, aren't you? Da, da, you know, I just wanted to know. <laughs> He's a very naughty boy. <laughs> I said to my niece a few weeks ago, she commented on some good looking lad when we were at the golf club for the funeral, and I, I just looked at him and went, Oh, very nice. And she said, Oh, Auntie Lorraine. I said, Blimey, Megan, I'm old, I'm not dead. <laughs> Yeah, but don't we have a rule about ages and mothers and stuff, though? Well, I wasn't chatting him up. I was just oh, looking. That's all right, then. There's nothing wrong with window shopping at all. Well, yeah, window shopping sums it up very nicely. I've always just... said there's nothing wrong with window shopping. Yeah, decided it was far too much effort. Yeah. Someone was trying to talk me into reading a series of books and I, I had a look and I said, oh, I don't think it's my thing. Apparently they're what they call reverse harem, which I had to Google. And, in, and it's where there's one female protagonist character who then has sort of several men, possibly four. Um, throughout he's got the, the energy book. for this. Well, he's got the time to train them all. This doesn't sound fun. I don't like. No. No, not my sort of thing. One's bad no. enough. I'm afraid not. You'd have to go on shifts, I suppose. I don't know. Oh, for goodness sake. Could you imagine you'd never get any time to yourself? Well, it'd be like having a load of your sons in the house. I'd be forever calling them the wrong name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'd do that thing that my nan used to do, where she'd go, Peter, John, Paul, David. <laughs> yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's yeah. a number of times I've gone to tell Jake off and called him my brother's name. <laughs> and what does Jake do? Just laughs. Uh, oh, Nita says her son enjoys college, but uh, not been there since March 2020. That's a long time, isn't it? It's just not fair, really, is it? No, well, I suppose everybody's in the same boat, aren't they? So, I mean, it's not fair on the youngsters. No. They have suffered a bit. I mean, someone was saying about, um, you know, these possible having COVID passports and you can't go on holiday or you can't go into pubs or you can't go to sporting events and blah, 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 unless you've been double jabbed, which, I mean... <sighs> putting aside whether the rights or the wrongs of it, it's not fair on those people who haven't been offered an injection, let alone, you know, forget about the whole, I, I've been offered it and I don't want it and all the rest of it. What about those people who've not had the chance to have one yet? I don't know. You feel quite bad for them. Like my Caitlin, she's not had hers yet. Um, Jake's had his invitation for his jab. Have you booked yeah. your jab? No. Caitlin's got her first one booked on the 12th. It's not too bad then. It's not I'm too really bad, bad, but, you know. And then it's still, you know, another one. The, the second one's booked for the end of September. Hmm. Anyway, I'm really warm. Oh. Are you? Yeah, I'm boiled. Making yes. a flipping garment's probably not the best idea. Well, no, probably not. Do I love knitting with cotton, but when you're trying to wind yarn from the ball, it's just always so wretchedly heavy. Yeah. Whereas wool is just, I don't know, lighter and loftier. I don't, I don't know if it's me, but I found this cotton light quite splitty. Very possibly, yeah. A lot of cottons are, unless it's mercerised. Mm. It's probably not me then. I'll take it as it not being me. Makes a change. Normally it is me. <laughs> is Coco still being given not nice ham? 
Uh, she's gone over to say thank you to Jake now. Oh, well, that's all right then. Just spoiling her. Yeah. What did she do to deserve the ham? I think it was just manky ham that was in the fridge and, you know, rather than throw it out, you might as well put it in a four-legged dustbin. Right, so nobody else wanted it, but she doesn't need to know that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lisa says that her dad occasionally calls her, her sister by the dog's name. <laughs> oh, yeah. I always get Callum and Arthur mixed up. Is that wrong? Good. I, I don't know. It might be that, that Arthur's just usually better behaved. <laughs> it's normally when he's annoying me, I go, oh, Callum. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bless yeah and how's lisa today how are you doing have you got a drink are you are you working on some knitting oh yeah tell yeah, tell us what what have cat. you got on your needles or hooks for that matter somebody could be hooking oh yeah does lisa prefer to knit or hook i think lisa's more of a knitter cool but i could be wrong she may have some crochet on the go because a lot of might, lots might. of us are by craftual or multi craft aren't we mm -hmm. yeah. yeah i try to be but i'm not very good um know, i've got that blanket to finish uh, off that i need to do and mm -hmm. then i've got a bazillion ends to uh, weave in on another blanket and um, have you got a round to it to do that? Because you can't be doing weaving in of ends if you haven't got a round to it. No. Oh, well, then it will just have to wait, won't it? I'm sure Mary will send me one. Yeah, if you ask her nicely. But she'll probably complain. She'll probably say she's already sent you one and it's your own fault. You should have kept better care of it. I'll see. Let me have a look. So I did a bit of a bundle of things Ooh. that have caught me eye. I like a bundle yeah just for a change i thought this was cute these summer nights cami oh i like that just nice basic v-neck very simple mm -hmm. v back and front no, no nothing fancy really simple shape a nice classic like and it's available in english yay uh, i thought this was cute i like the little peplum the frilly peplum Oh, that's nice. And the sort of wrap at the bust is always very flattering, certainly with a, a larger bosom. Yeah. Uh, and also with a smaller bust to make it look like you've got one. <laughs> yeah, that helps. So, you know, good to know. Um, who can resist elephant baby booties? Oh, nobody can resist elephant baby booties. Aren't they just adorbs. Oh, my goodness. This tickled me. The Healand oh, Coo. A Healand Coo tea cosy. I need. And it needs a horny Healand Coo. <laughs> oh, two horns there. I love it. Loving that loop stitch and the little ears. Very Is that cute. difficult to do that Highland stitch? Uh, the, the loop stitch? No. It's not hard no. at all. No. Uh, this was a K facet. I just thought it was very pretty. I think it's an older pattern, probably. Someone yeah. see, yeah, row and nine. Someone seems to be just quietly adding them to Ravelry. Okay. Um, Kamala Harris. Oh yeah, yeah. I love her hair. Yeah, she's kind of rocking it. I'm loving the little shoes. Definitely. Oh, she's even got a little heel. But well, and a little bit of glittery thread, I think, in mm. that yarn. So I thought that was fun. Thought this was cute. Little top, little cardi. Is it or is it the shorts? Or is it the shorts? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Is it the shorts? Oh, is I think it the, it's shorts? the shorts? Oh yeah, definitely the shorts. Not mm. something I would knit, not something I would wear, but mm. you know, very popular with the young ladies at this time of year. It's our friend Lindsay. 
Oh, that's nice. Nice cables, and I'm liking the sort of ombre effect of the yarn as well. Yeah. Very pretty. Like and that. there's a couple of different options with the sleeves. It's nice with a little sleeve, isn't it? It's cute, yeah. Is that a poncho? Just for oh, a change. Wow. Bit of crotchet. We like a bit of a crotchet poncho. Yeah, I thought it was quite pretty. I mean, it's just like a giant doily with a, an all in the middle. Really, <laughs> very cute. Uh, this is Elgin Martha Wissing. I quite like her summery tops and some of her sweaters. So this has got the pattern on the right front and mm -hmm. the back. Oh right, but not the left front. That's interesting. And it isn't on the sleeves either. And it's just a nice sort of loose summery shape in a linen yarn. I just thought that was pretty. Not your kind of a sleeve though. Um, I probably do narrower sleeves, but I, I do still like it as a style. Yeah, I love nice. the sort of over the top texture of this. That's like a blackberry. Yeah, isn't it amazing? And and I'm loving the thick borders and the toggly buttons and yeah, yeah. It's just it looks way snugly. Mm. We might have looked at this. Sakura knitting for breakfast. I just thought it was a pretty yoke. Yeah. Cute detail on the sleeves. Really simple shape. Bit effective. Yeah, nice easy knit. This leapt out at me. Oh, that's pretty. Called Living Together. I don't know if that's style stitch or what it is, but I like it and I like the use of the colour. Hmm to sort of break up the pattern very really nice and i thought this was really fun oh wow quite Love striking it. as sort yeah. of a, a home accessory isn't it and i love this color combo of stripes um those are nice the mustard the sort of beigey peach and then this coral and then this light grey and then the light blue and then back to the mustard again. Just really loved it. Very simple stripes. And obviously people have come up with their own interpretations as they do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought that was fun. Um, yeah. I don't know if I would knit this or if I would wear it, but the colours are really striking. Oh, aren't they just, yeah? And this sort of short row fillings and gaps where they you know cast off cast on and so on um clever very really interesting textual use and it reminds me of sort of the ocean and the beach and mm. now this just looked really smooshy oh yeah and cozy and and the hood and that sort of crossover on the hood slash collar I like that. Really nice. So, yeah, I really like that one. Cozy hoodie, and it is cozy. I thought this was cute. I like nice, that. Nice little gathered top sleeve to give a wider, sort of fluttery sleeve. I and like a little bit of lace. Style. Yeah, at the back, I mean, I'd want to put a little little button there, wouldn't you? Yeah. A button and a loop or something. Thought this was kind of a flattering shape. Hide a multitude of sins. Oh, definitely. Uh, some lovely colours that people have made. I just thought that was, you know, simple but effective. Mm -hmm. And I like this style as well with sort of the opening but no plackets. Well, that's no fastenings or anything. Really simple, really easy raglan sleeve that you could make longer or shorter. And a nice layering piece. Definitely. Or with a nice necklace. I've, I've just loved the shape of this shawl. Nice sort of curves to it. Just I mean, I get that if you, you know, I get that it's sort of a, got a crescent thing going on. But yeah, I, I like it. And this tea as well, the outline tea, it's another Jessie made. We've looked at a few of her designs and I, yeah. I, I like this sort of drop stitch, almost destructuring mm -hmm. 
and then when you see it on a curvy body of course if you quite busty this is a very flattering shape if it fit you know sort of empire line to your natural waist yeah really cute i think we looked at this last time with I this young gentleman done, modeling yeah yeah uh walking in circles this is a free pattern uh i don't know if it was sock madness i think helen gibson's actually knitting this at the moment all oh, right and she's picked a, a really bright green to go with a black and I think that's fun with a good contrast. Nice high contrast. Yeah. I don't know if this is Kaiser or Kaiser T. This this bird knits. It's a good name, isn't it? But pretty that's little yoke, nice. cute sleeve. It's blue. I like blue. I'm wearing it with grey. What more could you ask for? Um, nice little sampler throw. Our friend counting sheep from the gift along. Oh, that's um, nice. No, just different patterns of different colours thrown together. It'd be a really good scrap buster mm -hmm. or a way for a new knitter to kind of build their skills with each stripe. Yeah. I thought this was super cute with the little dinosaurs on the Whoa. yoke. Isn't that just adorable? Definitely. Really, really sweet. Uh, this appealed to me. It was the colours. The blues oh, yeah. and, and the greens and the creams and sort of that beachy kind of, yeah, that really let out. That's lovely. Tropical Shores, it's called, mm -hmm. and it's on the King Cole website, and it's free. Ooh. Uh, this is the Fiesta Crochet Along. It's a paid pattern. Oh, wow. Just look at the fun you could have with those colours. You really and, could go And make town. it. To match any decor, really. Yeah. And let's go with the gratuitous dog picture. Oh, without a doubt, we need a little doggy picture. And I love that she's gone with the blues and the greys and the bit of mustard and a bit of yellow. And there's someone else with yet another. I mean, that's absolutely, I would snatch that from the mm -hmm. screen and run away with it now. That is so beautiful. I've said it before, some people are so good with colour, aren't they? I know. So that's the Fiesta Crochet along. Um, pants. Oh, wow. Crotchet don't pants. Often see crotchety pants. I know, and she's got two pairs in this particular bundle. I quite like these patterned ones, though. And I like that across the sort of rump and front, where mom, one may wish for a little bit of modesty the danger it's, area it, it's a more solid pattern and it's just yeah. sort of your legs on show and i, I like that it's, it's i like a, those they're I fun want and some the, crotchety pants and then there's some capri pants again with the patterning on the the lower those bit from the same lady uh, this is just called dragon uh, oh sort of look blankety my bob isn't that adorable that is amazing. Um, yeah. I think now I did see this. I just saw a little flash of that when you had it in your bundle, and I was a little bit surprised. I'm thinking, what's going on there? Um, I think the posing is. Oh dear, it's a bit Handmaid's Tale for me. I'm not bit. My boobies don't do that. I don't think my boobies were ever that high up, to be honest. <laughs> Um, but it, it's a, an interesting doll for people who like to make dolls. It's got proper hand shape. There's a lot of effort gone Ooh. into the authenticity of the shaping. That looks so like I thought, a carrot. Yeah, very peach-like. <laughs> it, it does still verge on the it's pornographic hard. image of women. Um which I kind of have mixed feelings about. It objectifies. But if that's the sort of thing that somebody likes, then, you know, good for them. Yeah. Um, a cat blanket called Meow. Oh, it's gorgeous. Another bit of crotchet. Um, and then we've got this really cute little plant holder. I like that. Which I thought was lovely. Quite like the plant as well. Don't know if yeah. that's ba baby's tears or something like that. Erin plant holder. That would be perfect to put your um, strawberries in because they like to trail, don't they? I'll let, I'll just nod as if yeah. I know. 
I'll do that. So a crossroads, a, a nice Afghan square and interesting colour combos. Really pretty. I like the blue and yellow. I think they're all beautiful, to be honest. Uh, the Indiana Afghan. Oh, wow. Yeah. And That's then stunning. Different views, a much more saturated colour there. It looks almost woven, doesn't it? Very much so. Tapestry crochet, I think, is yeah. the technique. Some crochet socks. Oh, those are cool. And, and called weirdos, which I think just says it all, really. And it's a free pattern if you Best want out. to um, tickle your pickle on that one. Uh, I just picked this based on the name, as you like it. But it's got a nice scalloped edge to the neck. Same on the cuffs. I don't know about the lower body. Yes, we have. And it's a nice, nice. A-line shape by the look of it. Lovely little And I just top. thought it was a nice, casual little garment. Um, the mushroom tote bag. I mean, how cute is that? That is cute. What are we thinking of these guys? Are we loving them? I certainly like the mushrooms. Lisa says that dog's been dead for 30 years. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> That's even worse, isn't it? Um, Water, she's got water in her glass, artisanity's pattern sandstorm in an hourglass that mm. socks that she's knitting her dad for Christmas. Uh, and it is Helen says, Yeah, sock madness, and she has the yarn. So, yeah, right, where were we? No time, though, I should imagine. I, just, I don't know how anybody gets through that pile of socks that Kate Poe had made. I just, yeah, so not worthy. Uh, I thought we'd better have a crochet shawl in there, and it was purple. That's really um, nice. I like that. And I love that top that she's wearing it with. So Sad, pretty. That? Yeah, really cute. Uh, this is um, Shandy. Monstrosity. What a really clever name. A just very pretty shape, isn't she nice gorgeous? Colour. She's so beautiful. You could put her in a sack and she'd still look amazing. Yeah, you could fall out with people, couldn't you? Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Um, I like the name. That's what drew me to it. T -t 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 Touch me. <laughs> and All anyone right. that, that's Calm watched... Down. Anybody that's watched um, the Rocky Horror Picture Show uh, <laughs> will it, know what the it. next line is. Because <laughs> she wants to be dirty. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of loop stitch on there. Awesome Interesting. There. Lots of stitch patterns and fun stuff going on. So really textural. Would you imagine this would be a great thing for, oh, it says here, for Alzheimer's, autism, dementia or sensory disabilities. So, yeah, oh, that's, that's good. That's why I picked it. Because <laughs> I thought, what a fantastic thing that would be. Uh, so a dress. Wow. Not really my shape, but I really like the khaki and on her wow the effort in that it's unbelievable isn't it um there's probably not that many rows there's some Keeping. quite big stitches in there uh right swear warning okay. bit, of cu bit of cussing it's the swear blanket mini <laughs> and there's one. the pattern there for i think my favorite on here is twat waffle yeah <laughs> but um, I, I'm assuming that she's got a pattern for and uh, for something else with more words, and she's the crass crafter. Which oh, right, she's really good. Yeah, I just thought it was was it excellent. <laughs> so yeah, just a few things that I'd... my favourite swear word was missing off that. <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to swear, so I won't say it. I don't know. Okay. I think my current favourite is sort of one that's come into common language at the moment and it, it's been used to describe politicians and people like that recently and that's cockwumble. Which oh, I don't... yeah, cockwumble's <laughs> funny. Yeah. Mine, my mine's, my favourite one's a bit like that, it's dickwad. <laughs> yeah, I thought that's a... That's what I say all the time when people are driving badly and I'm stuck behind them. Oh, I use a shorter word for that. <laughs> Caitlin always has like a bit of a laugh and a giggle about me. She says I've got quite bad road rage. 
But I'm quite aggressive in the car. I just I get annoyed with people. And do you know what I get annoyed with as well is when I'm driving at the speed limit and there's people in front of me driving at the speed limit, yet the people behind me are trying to get past. I know, as if they're actually going to get anywhere quicker. I know. I, I do not get it. Do not get it at all. Mm. Just totally don't get it. But, you know, what do we know? What, we don't know anything. I know nothing. I've been watching that bit of Basil Fawlty this afternoon. I tell Callum and I watched the first episode of Clarkson's Farm. Oh, did you love it? <laughs> oh, it's hilarious, isn't it? It is so funny. I, I love Caleb. Caleb is brilliant. Like, I, just, I mean, we've only seen the first episode, but the, the funniest thing is, thinking you can just take on a farm of that size without any prior knowledge of farming whatsoever and then you know when he's like ah oh, i can do this a better way as if people haven't been farming for hundreds of years in that precise way and there's a M millennia in fact yeah well yeah. well obviously not millennia because like they're tractoring you know, so well, things have evolved, but yeah, I there's a reason yeah, why you don't done, do certain things. They would have done the same thing with the horse, I suppose, wouldn't they? Um, and and he's like, Why am I doing a three point turn? It takes too long. I can just do like a wide sweep and come along. Yeah, right. And then when Caleb comes back and he just goes, What have you done? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, and he's not even quite 21 yet. I oh, know. It is good. It is funny. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm going to share that pattern that uh, Lisa mentioned. So it's Artist Sanitarium Designs. Sandstorm in an hourglass. Those are lovely. Very pretty candles. I like the way they go into the um, cuff at the top. Yeah, it works very well, doesn't it? I do like that because sometimes designers don't match the cables up with the ribbing and, and it just upsets me a little bit sometimes. Yeah, and Nina's, um, she's got a very strong sort of sense of cables. Mm, they're very good. I like those. Is it a fun knit, Lisa? And, and what yarn are you using? Is it blue? <laughs> Some of us want to know if you're using blue. I'm not using blue. I'm using grey, but grey is a second choice colour for me, isn't it? I do use blue and grey and brown a lot. I'm nothing if not predictable. Well, you know, we wouldn't change it. Well, I think you would. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but but i'd never admit it <laughs> all right okay <laughs> that would just be rude wouldn't it yeah just just go with that i wouldn't change you and we'll just you know not mention it. it'll be fine so so it's not blue oh and it says brackets not for emma and it's <sighs> medium brown and she's using nitpick stroll it's not one of you lisa do you like it for socks is it quite a hard wearing yarn mm. especially yeah, man, man socks uh, for anything mm. like like my my 20 something he tends to be quite heavy on his socks heels in particular oh gosh well that under the size of a small dog um so you know don't knit him socks. It will be. Um, it will be. I love. I love. I, I do love him, but just not that much. Not his feet, no. And <laughs> um, it'll be the work boots as well, won't it? Robin on the socks. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Steely's. You can't blame it all on him. No. Even though you try. No, no, no. <laughs> well, and he's like. Well, actually, I was about to say he's like me. He slips his trainers on and off, but he's actually unfastened the laces today. Wow. I know. Mm. All right, so it's the first time she's used Nick Pick Stroll, so Lisa isn't sure how long it lasts, but she did use two strands on the toe to reinforce that section. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that because I, 
I totally trashed a pair of my socks during the election day. Did your toenails rub through? Yeah. Not yeah, and, and not a bit right the way through the, the, the graft. Can you not um, salvage them? Um, I possibly could, but I may have chucked them. I can't remember <gasps> if I even kept them. They were only double knit, just cheap yarn. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't a Mary Dear special. They weren't 64 stitch socks or anything like that. No. Right. If they've been done on 2.75 or 2.5 mil needles, there's no way in hell that I'd have got rid of them. I'd have fixed them in some way, re knit the toes or something. Mm -hmm. but. Oh dear. Oh well, that's the way it goes sometimes, I suppose, isn't it? It is. I mean, you just have to work with what you've got, don't you? And sometimes it doesn't work. And if you forget that you're wearing a good pair of socks when you go out walking for the day, you know, these things are going to happen, aren't they? Well, I put them on because they were clean. I think that was the only criteria oh, at the time okay. because I hadn't done any laundry for about a week and a half. Surprisingly, and I was because you were busy. I'm absolutely exhausted and still yeah. looking after Grandad and all of that. And I just yeah. thought, they're clean. <laughs> Taking on far too much, as usual. Yeah, well. Naughty well. lady. I know. I'm, I'm practising no at the yeah. moment. Okay, no. let's let's try it. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Yeah. Right, Lorraine, I really, really, really need um, a new jumper knitting in the blue yarn that I know that you've got there. Do you, do you fancy doing one for me? No. Um, have you, have you, um, have you seen Henry recently? No. <laughs> oh. No, not even in my dreams. And the other night, it was a, it was a quick visit by Mr. Tom Hiddleston, which was Ooh. a bit of a change. Bit of a change. Yeah, yeah, he's a bit cheeky, isn't he? Popping up there and then just disappearing off. Mm. It's very Tom Hiddleston like that, isn't it? Oh, no. Huh? Mm, cheeky. More night manager than Loki. Right, okay. Although I do really like Loki. I'm absolutely loving it, I have to say. I've not seen the programme, but just him as Loki. He, I tell you, genius casting, wasn't he? Perfect. Absolutely perfect for it. Mm. I'd love to do that job, actually, casting. <laughs> Do you need a couch? <laughs> no, not that kind. Because <laughs> I was thinking the other day, um, I was reading about um, The Crown, because they're going to do, um, they did say they were going to do six, and then they changed their mind and said, no, we're just going to do five series, and now they've gone back to six again. And I read their choice of who they've cast as um, John Major. Right. And it's not someone you would expect. Oh. Johnny Lee Miller. What? Yeah. As John Major? As John Major. No. Yes. <laughs> Honestly, look it up on Tinternet. Just no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've only just got used to him as Sherlock. Well, you know, was it train spotting meets MP spotting? I don't, I don't but yeah. Yeah, have they got, who's going to be Egg Wiener then? Oh gosh. They didn't say anything about Egg Wiener, but yeah. Because is it Imelda Staunton's going to be the Queen? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I can't remember who else was in it, but that one really stuck in my head because everyone was like, no, I really, really like him and I fancy him and now I've really gone off of him. <laughs> I think with John Major, though, it the thing that sort of killed his image was literally the grey man puppet in Spitting Image. Peas are nice tonight, dear. Well, yeah, and uh, 
and it's like um david Steele, the liberal mp mm. where they were where they'd set up the was it this, with the social democrats merging with the liberals uh, and there was yeah. david owen and david Steele. Yeah. and the david owen character says well how about we merge both of our names for the leader and david Steele's puppet which is tiny in comparison yeah. like a little mouse says oh that's a good idea so we'll take david from david Steele's name and owen from david owen's name for the new party leader and yeah oh, oh that's fair then you know it portrayed as this tiny puppet sat on david owen's lap that's funny and <laughs> how do you get past that i don't know I, I think sometimes once you've been satirized that's it there's no coming back is there Possibly not. I mean, Angela Merkel now, I will always see that Tracy Ullman sketch with the eye roll. <laughs> she was brilliant, wasn't she? And, I and love Chen Tracy Ullman. And putting on an extra coat of lipstick to go and see um, oh, Macron. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's got a bit of a thing for Bojo at the moment, hasn't she? She can't seem to stay away from him. Oh, God. Mm. Not sure I could touch him with someone else's. Well, no. But... I'm not shot of him with the Queen the other week, and I just thought, brush your bloody hair. <laughs> Apparently, he does it on purpose. <sighs> well, we 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 like to think he's going to have done it on purpose, don't we? Really, I suppose, because any other thought is just not a good one, really. I don't know. I don't. Know. I don't know what his plan is. World domination, maybe. Um, no. Oh. I'm just about to finish a row, my third right. row. Are you going to do more of them? Possibly. Helen Gibson said he was apparently very popular and well respected by the farmers up here. Are we talking John Major, Helen? Or Just David Owen Steele. Yeah. <laughs> or Johnny Lee Miller, even. It could have been Johnny Lee Miller that she meant. Well, yeah, has he got crimes to solve? Or I'm sure he was in um, one of the Jane Austen-y type things, wasn't he, as the love interest? He was. Which one was it? Was it Emma? I think it might have been. Yeah. wasn't one I paid much attention to was it the Gwyneth Paltrow one no I think it was the other one not the not the new new one oh the, the actress she's been in a couple of things but I can't ever remember her name yeah oh, I don't know. don't know don't know just, yeah. but it's John Major that I just I can't get past that yeah, all right. So John Major was very well respected by the farmers up in Scotland. Good to know. Oh. I think he was sort of the Jim Hacker candidate, wasn't he? As Thatcher left, where he was the one that people didn't hate. <laughs> well, I mean, anyone was going to have been better than Margaret Thatcher, hadn't they? Um. Did you talking of, of Margaret Thatcher? Did you enjoy Pride the other day when you watched it? Oh, yes. <laughs> Was it good? Do you enjoy that? I thoroughly enjoyed it. And our Tracy watched it the other night and she thought it was brilliant. Yeah. It's, it's one of those excellent. movies that's gone under the radar, hasn't it? Well, and I cried at the end. I cried at the end. So, yeah, just a, it's a too hanky warning at the end. Not, not in a sad way, in an uplifting way. I absolutely laughed, like proper belly laughing as well, though, in that movie. It's that old lady got off the bus. Oh. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, it was just really good. Just, you know, Welsh Welsh miners meeting. Tell you the... what appealed to my sense of humour and made me laugh out loud to the point where Jake sort of turned around and went, what? <laughs> At me. Yeah. Reading a book the other day, I think it was from the Transfusion Saga, Stephanie Hudson. Yeah. And there's um, 
I think it's Lucius is in Amelia's bedroom and various relatives are walking in and she has to hide down by the side of the bed because she doesn't want anyone to know he's in her room. And then they all start talking about when she was a baby and a little girl and, oh, wasn't it cute? And, oh, oh put this on. I don't like it. Well, it's only a moo moo. Oh, didn't we used to, wasn't that what we used to call her bits? So, of course, he's on the floor dying with laughter on the other side of the bed, trying not to be found. She's sitting there thinking, just shoot me in the head. Just yeah. do it now. Just kill me now before we carry on with the story. And then somebody chirps up. Oh, yeah, but she couldn't get Mimi right, could she? Were we at a council meeting? And when you put her on her dad's lap, she said, my moo cow's itchy. And I absolutely howled with laughter. And Jake's going, what is it? I said, it's just something in my book. Don't worry about it. Because <laughs> I could sort of visualise him on the floor, dying with laughter and her on the bed, trying to get rid of all of these relatives, dying of shame. And and you just thought this next conversation is going to be a really good one <laughs> what when they've left and it's just them too yeah yeah mm. do you want me to help you with your itchy moo cow it's just <laughs> does your moo cow often get itchy well you know <laughs> they just absolutely well, the things we discuss Lorraine I tell you I just thought it was funny <laughs> <laughs> well, you would, wouldn't you? It well, it's my childish sense of humour. What can I say? Wow, it's yeah, just ju it's juvenile. <laughs> just never grown up and not planning to. It's not going to change, is not it? Unless someone makes you, why would you? Well, I think being grown up and adulting is like seriously overrated. It's just it's like so not fun. Yeah, we're not doing that. Why would we bother? Right, well, I'm going to disappear and then um, like properly yeah and possibly cast off i don't know might do another mm -hmm. couple of rows i'm on my fourth row which in theory should be the last one before the bind off so i might bind off a little bit and see what it looked like lately yeah. blocked and, and then, then i can always decision. yeah make a decision as to whether i need a bit more ribbing on my hem okay okay mm. how far have you got um, on. um oh, it's always it's that far down from my sleeves well that's quite far down isn't it yeah so what, what length are you going for um i don't know i think what i'll do is i'll lay it kind of on my um alicia plumber one yeah and then I'll I'll knit it to the same length as that, and then have the the fakey bit yeah, lower, the, the little yeah. sort of faux t-shirt. Yeah, I think underneath. that's what I'll do. Yeah. And are you going to go with the white or the mustard, or no, are you going to go gonna with give the mustard a go? Give it down. It's it's going to look good. It's just going to look good. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. yeah. Hopefully that will be done by the next time I see you. Excellent. Well, I'm hoping to be on sleeves next time I see you because I've just got this enormously long body now. <laughs> how um, how long are you doing your sleeves? Uh, elbow length, probably. Okay. Mine, mine are sort of like halfway down. They're only little, little ones, so didn't take long. I did both of them in one afternoon. Well, that's not long, is it? No, no. So, cool. I suspect mine will be more work. <laughs> well, you know, I've I've been a bit naughty. I did just pick the smallest size and go for it. I didn't even do a swatch, but I think it's looking, it looks about right. Yeah, doing all right, I think. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be good. So we'll see you okay. uh, see you next week. And. Uh, uh, have Catch a good week, up. everyone. Yeah, happy knitting and all that. Knit, knit, knit. Let us know what you're up to. What are you going to sing us out with today, Emma? Uh, I think it should be um, either Sweet Caroline or Three Lions. Yeah, I think Three Lions, shouldn't okay, it? Okay, we'll go for Three Lions. Keep Cause, the momentum cause, going. Because football's coming home. 
It is, it is. Right, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm gonna count this Two down. Dolls. Five, four, three, two, one.